practicing with some confidence after a big performance like last week? Uh, definitely. Just trying to roll in the next game. Uh, use everything I used last week and just prepare for the best. So. What went well? What, what about the, was it something about the matchup or playing back at home? What, what, what got into you last week? Uh, kind of playing back home, but really just uh, just work ethic. Um, just using what you use at practice, running the ball, stuff like that. Just kind of translates into the game and take it from there. When you're having a game like that, does it feel different than, than other weeks? Uh, not really. I didn't even notice I was honestly playing like that. So after the game, I picked up my phone. I realized I was doing all that. So I was like, wow. But um, during the game, it just kind of just kind of played the series go. So um, I was just kind of taking it one series at a time, trying to do best as I could and help out my teammates. So. What do you feel like Coach Joe has prioritized with you, trying to draw out of you since he took over? Uh, the best, um, whether it's at practice, whether it's in a game, um, whether it's just in walkthroughs or individual, just trying to make the best out of you. Um, hands, footwork, striking, stuff like that, locking out, just overall just performance. So just trying to help out everything and uh, just trying to be a good coach. So. One of the first tastes of adversity there against Arizona State coming out with a loss. What, what was, has the reaction been like? What's the response been like at practice? Um, I mean, we knew we were going to face adversity throughout the season, uh, whether it was going to be in the game or just in the series of our um, just kind of record. Um, so we just kind of took that with a grain of salt. Um, a loss is a loss. Kind of brush it off and prepare for this week and get ready for Cal. So. What was it like for you to process having a big game individually that came in defeat? How, what was it, how did you balance kind of being happy about your performance but knowing that the ultimate goal wasn't achieved? Uh, I mean, I wasn't really satisfied at all, honestly. I left a lot out there on the field, and uh, I feel like I could have made a lot more plays. Uh, just helped contribute to help my team a little bit better. Um, kind of sucks we did lose, even with a performance like that, but I mean, I don't take it like that, so. Just looking at the front seven, where do you rank that guys among your guys' performances so far this year? Um, I mean, pretty well. Um, I think they're decent, so, yeah. Matchup different this week? Can you expect the same out of yourself, or is this gonna, week going to be any different? Um, they throw the ball a little bit faster, so we'll see. I'll try to get back there as fast as I can, but um, they throw the ball a bit faster. they got some receivers that catch pretty well, so we'll see. In general, how does your job change then when they're getting rid of it quicker? Uh, I just have to run a lot more, pretty much. Just running the ball, uh, just try to make some effort plays, and just try to get after them. So. Do you see ASU giving any extra effort or attention to Troy Dye? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I feel like they will, yeah. Uh, Troy's a great guy out there on the field. Um, he's making plays, flying around, making the calls and stuff, getting us prepared. He helps us out a lot, so as much as we can help him, as much as he can help us, we just try to do both. So, You deal with a loss last year, you deal with a loss this year. That week after that loss, what's been, what's the reaction and the response been like different from the last year versus this year? Um, it's kind of the same, but um, in the sense of us just kind of attacking the next week and kind of brushing the last week off. Um, this week we got to prepare on um, really just getting after the quarterback and getting after the run game and everything. They have a nice back, um, they have some nice receivers. So I'm um, just taking a loss as a loss and uh, just kind of brushing it off, like I said. Just kind of can't keep dwelling on the past, so um, we got to prepare for the future. So Sort of a balanced uh, Cal offense. What they, I think they like to go to the pass just a little bit more than maybe the run, but um, what have you seen on tape that jumps out about the way that Cal operates schematically? Oh, uh, they break a lot of tackles. Uh, just watching film so far, they break a lot of tackles. Uh, the running backs are pretty big. They have a nice big fullback, uh, 99. So we just have to get after him and hope we can take care of everything. You're not the biggest guy up front on this line. Do you have to do anything different than other guys to, against the run to, to try to hold up? Uh, everything. Uh, my leverage, my footwork, my hand placement, my eyes, pad level. Um, I just have to do everything different than everybody else. Uh, being about 20 pounds lighter than everybody else, you kind of got to compensate and do things a little bit better than everything else. So. I'm just trying to work on my footwork and stuff like that. Listen to Coach Doe and listen to everything he tells me and Coach Levitt for sure. So I'm just trying to improve my game. When the quarterback's getting rid of the ball so quick as a pass rusher, is it frustrating that you're like always almost there, but he's always getting rid of it so fast? Uh, yeah, but it's like uh, kind of trying to take kid from a candy or a candy from a kid though. So uh, I mean, you get back there and you're like, oh, he just passed it, but I mean, I'll get back there next time though. So it's kind of motivation for each and every other play, just in case uh, you know he does hold that ball a little bit longer, you can get back there. So. What are some of the intricacies that uh, Bo Baldwin brings as their offensive coordinator to, to the Cal offense that's different than years past down there? Um, he likes to get the ball out a lot faster than what they used to. I know they were a fast offense before, but it, they look a little bit faster on film. Um, after they make some big plays and stuff like that, they run a little bit of tempo. So um, we just got to get it aligned and uh, be ready to play them. What benefits do you do get from your size? From Is, is there anything that helps being a little bit smaller? Uh, yes, my speed, uh, my speed, and my uh, pretty much athleticism. Some of the big guys uh, can't really move as well as I can, so I just try to use that for my advantage and take advantage of what I can. So.